with Alaska Herbal Solutions. Today in our series about plants that you can harvest during the winter, we're going to talk about Labrador tea. Let's get straight what to it. What Labrador tea looks like in the winter. Some people argue that winter is the best time to actually harvest it. Some people right before it flowers, some people as it's flowering. It all depends. I haven't worked with it enough to actually figure out which is the best. So you'll have to figure out or do some more research on your own. Um, other people I've talked to haven't found a difference between when to harvest it. As the name implies, you can use it as a tea. However, it doesn't have any caffeine in it. So if you uh, are looking for a caffeine fix, unfortunately, all of the substitutes for coffee up here and the Labrador tea don't actually have caffeine in them. Really fun fact about this, um, it's also known as Hudson Bay tea because in during the revolution and the Boston Tea Party when they were, when the um, United States, or before it was, but the, the English colonials were boycotting the British tea, they would actually use this as their tea substitute. Usually it is mixed in with other teas because some people don't like the taste of it. The leaves themselves, let's see if we can get it to focus. The leaves themselves can be used as a replacement for bay leaf. So you would just dry it and use it the same way as bay leaf. So my first encounter with Labrador tea was uh, up in Fairbanks. My husband and I were at a SDA event, a Society for Creative Anachronism, and he hurt his wrist while he was fighting. And I had just read about Labrador tea, and there was tons of it all over Anderson Park. So I made a tea out of it, and I used it in a poultice, and it was excellent. It's great as an anti-inflammatory, both internally and externally. It also helps you helps put you to sleep because it has a slight sedative effect. Along with that sedative effect, there is a laxative effect. So it is excellent while you're camping if you can find some and you have some constipation because you know you're not getting enough fiber, all that stuff. It's really nice for that. Um, you can also make a decoction of the entire plant, including the roots, to help with upset stomach. And um, I tried using that when my husband had, when Jason had an upset stomach, but I don't think I boiled it long enough because it's supposed to turn like a really dark brown in it. It didn't. So um, yeah, make sure that you, if you try that if for an upset stomach, you give it a long time because I let it boil for like a good 30 minutes and it didn't do what it was supposed to do. I was a little bit frustrated. So I'll have to play with that some more. Anyways, cautions, because it does have that sedative effect, be very careful when you're using it for the first time. Um, and if you're going to be using a car or any machine or that kind of thing, because we want you to stay alive. Um, you, uh, in general, you want to use it in moderation because um, of that, that uh, because of that sedative effect. Uh, if you have heart palpitations or high blood pressure or might be pregnant, go ahead and avoid um, using it internally. You can use it externally if you have those conditions, but internally you want to avoid it. Sorry, am I, it's automatically doing everything, changing the aperture and everything. So anyways, make sure when you're identifying it that it is not bog rosemary. In the winter, it's a little bit easier, but let me show you some things that are different about Labrador tea versus bog rosemary, because bog rosemary is poisonous. So when we're talking about uh, Labrador tea, they generally, the leaves generally have a uh, orange hue for the older leaves. Uh, new growth does not have this orange hue, but it's still fuzzy underneath. You can you will be able to see the or feel the fuzziness. The other thing is that the leaves curl under. Bog rosemary tends to be just like a flat. The other way you can tell is you can break off this, the, the leaf and smell it. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like it and subscribe as well as ring that bell 
so that you can get notifications when the next video comes out. Thank you so much for watching again. Have a wonderful day and feel better naturally the Alaskan way.